Amber, and the hot weather will have people trying to beat the heat across SoCal. Beaches and local community pools are expected to be really busy this week. And CBS 2's Car Finstrom is live at the Rose Bowl Aquatic Center where folks have already been up bright and early. They have the Aquatic Center here already open. Popular spot to be on these hot days, and we've seen lots of folks uh, heading in. There's another one right now. We did speak with one regular who says for the rest of the week, she's going to come later in the day using the pool to cool off. She also told us she's seeing new faces. And I think it's actually encouraged other people to come swimming because they have missed the socialization as well as the exercise. I think a lot of people put on extra pounds during this uh, period of isolation and shutdown. Yeah, folks coming to these pools as we come out of this pandemic and just in time for the heat, LA City Parks will begin op operating their pools for the summer season at 2 this afternoon. Last year, pandemic worries kept all of the city's public pools closed, so some extra excitement today over this reopening. And LA City Parks will be offering swim lessons, junior lifeguarding, and all kinds of other activities with some COVID-19 safety protocols in place. Let's give you a look at the other spot folks started hitting over the weekend to cool off, area beaches. The valleys and mountains are expected to see triple-digit temperatures this week downtown, possibly even hitting 100 degrees. That raises fears of heat-related illnesses, so folks are urged to stay hydrated and to limit the time spent outdoors in extreme heat. Air quality will also be a worry, especially for folks with asthma and other respiratory conditions, and particularly in inland areas. And one other concern this week is the potential strain on the power grid. Grid operators say a flex alert may be issued. That's a voluntary call for folks to conserve power during peak hours. Back here live, also want to remind everyone that if you need a cooling center, the easiest way to find one is to call 211. DeMarco, Suzanne, they can let you know where one's operating in your area. That's good to know, Cara. Thank you.